Hey, this is Matt Gonzalez from Mac Rumors. In March of 2013, Apple introduced two-step authentication to their site. This is a much more secure way of accessing your private accounts. The way it would normally work is you enter username and password. The problem is it's not as secure because if someone gets the password, they gain access to your account. Now you have to enter your password like you would normally, but then a code is sent to your device that you will then have to enter as well. So now nobody can gain access to your account without the password and the device in their possession. Apple also provides a security code called a recovery key that is also used to verify that you are the one making the change to your account. It turns out that the recovery key is very important. The next web's Owen Williams wrote in a new account that someone tried to gain access to his Apple account and it was locked. He then went in to try and change the password to gain access again, but was not able to because he did not have the recovery key he was assigned. There was nothing he or Apple could do because even though he had his trusted device and password, the recovery key was still needed to gain access to the account. So it's very important that you have this recovery key for the unfortunate case that you will need it. To get one, just go into the password and security section of your Apple account, then turn on two-step verification, and you will then be assigned a recovery key. You should keep this in a safe place, but in the event that you lose it, just go back into your account under that same password and security section and choose replace your recovery key, and then you will be assigned a new key. So two-step verification is a great way to keep your account secure, just make sure you have that recovery key. It's a small inconvenience when you log in, but it's much harder for someone to gain access, and it's worth it in the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, follow us on Twitter at MacRumors and visit MacRumors.com. Again, my name is Matt, and I'll see you in the next video.